My dad would never consider himself a war hero. My dad's the greatest man I've ever met, I'll ever know. At the age of 18, enlisted in the Navy, was the youngest Navy pilot in World War II. His mission was to hit the towers on an island called Chichijima Island, and he completed the mission, he got shot down, and he crashed into the Pacific and was unconscious in a raft. He was almost taken as a prisoner of war, but thankfully a reconnaissance flight saw him there, and there was a submarine in the vicinity, and they got to him first. Thank God for our family that my dad survived that. This guy is the real deal. The interesting thing about people in World War II that served is that most of them don't brag about what they did, they just did it. And they came from all walks of life and they responded to the great challenge of our country and they did it in a way that uh, kept us free and kept the world free. It's payback time. They need a Veterans Administration that is totally focused on veterans. The service is lousy. You talk to veterans today and they, they'll tell you that they'd like to have more choices. They'd like to be treated with more dignity and respect. Reforming the Veterans Administration has to be the highest priority of the next President of the United States because of that.